James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been back in a geomagnetic storm, according to our estimated planetary KP index, for the last six hours. This is a G1 geomagnetic storm, a KP5, again for the last six hours. Look at the college KP index. We've actually been in a geomagnetic storm for the last nine hours, including a G2 for the last six. But we're going to go with our estimated planetary index, the updated index that NOAA and NASA exclusively use. Real quickly, three hours on the Fredericksburg. That would be a G1 geomagnetic storm. And six hours on the Boulder, which would also be a G1 KP5 geomagnetic storm. Now, taking a little bit closer look at our estimated planetary KP index, we really have been in a geomagnetic storm for a total of nine hours today, although this bar represents 7 to 10 central last night, i.e. UTC time. This was 0 hundred to 300 UTC time, i.e. on the 11th. We were in a G2 geomagnetic storm yesterday for six hours, as y'all well know, and that happened from about 1 p.m. to about 7 p.m., give or take. So finally, NOAA's KP index forecast breakdown for January 11th through the 13th actually has some accuracy in it. They were very close here coming out of the chutes. We got up to a 5.0. They have it as a G1 4.67. And they were pretty close here as well. While they didn't realize that this was going to be a geomagnetic storm as well, they did almost get this right and said it would be a 4.67. Ended up being a 5. And we believe the storm might be over at this time. It definitely looks like it in the data itself. With that said, we're currently having Aurora Borealis over Western Europe. And as y'all can see, the forecast has it breaking up and then reforming with Aurora Borealis. Of course, mostly over Canada and maybe touching some of the northern states this evening. Now, I don't know if that's a good forecast or not based on the data I'm seeing on Discover. Taking a look at our Discover satellite that's supposed to orbit Earth at a million miles, the sun being 93 plus million miles away, and it's supposed to be orbiting at Lagrange point one, we see that most of the data here has dropped off. Now there's regularly a 50 to 90 minute delay on space weather once we see it here on the satellite until it actually reaches our planet. So these two bumps here are very insignificant with plasma, but please notice the red line here. Our shields are completely down, completely down almost all day long. And they were up earlier in the day, but not for the first three hours. They were down when we experienced that G1 geomagnetic storm right there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not talking about much plasma here. I see a 29.7 reading, a 49.77 reading, uh, a 12.14. It doesn't take much when the shields are down, especially if our 5GSM is southward pointed here. So that was a, get, a give me. No shields whatsoever. They're definitely uh, disappearing. Our South Atlantic anomaly that covers now part of Brazil is growing very quickly. I will show you all that right now. This was all geomagnetic storm, and I just don't see any cause here. We can, we can get up to 13.45 plasma. Our shields are down. Red line is way below zero, but we do have that northern angle on our 5GSM. Well, 
wind speeds pop up to 690 that one little one little minute one little minute is what that is uh, we again have been in that g1 geomagnetic storm for what for six hours through this time period here my guess is is that the next shooter drop will bring us out of the geomagnetic storm because we really have no plasma and it looks like our shields are trying to come out of the zero here now i want to show you all that anomaly growing over the south atlantic and south america it's almost starting to cover parts of the caribbean before we do it, this is another look at the plasma. It's just a little bit easier to look at. And this was that, well, KP5, G1 geomagnetic storm. And none of these are above 10, which is the space weather threshold. Nothing has occurred above that in about the last two hours. So again, I'm guessing that the next shooter drop Will bring us out of the geomagnetic storm taking a look at the last couple of hours on our magnetometer we can see that we were in a geomagnetic storm as well kind of looking at it from the opposite position if you will it's like we're really jumping into a kp6 there uh, and a g2 but they didn't go that high at least on our estimated planetary index if you'll recall they did on some of the other indexes located in different places now this magnetometer here is going to be located in sweden just to let you know and just for reference solar winds are not really in play at all and they shouldn't be this was a chromite ejection it wasn't a chrono hole Winds are at about 552 kilometers per second and really nothing that would cause a geomagnetic storm. We saw that huge push up in front of the plasma yesterday and that was the only event associated with the solar winds. Let's take a look at that huge southern Atlantic anomaly that keeps growing. It's a hole in our atmosphere and it's a very very dangerous situation some quick pictures these are about three months old i couldn't get anything from the last week or two they say since 2014 the south atlantic anomaly is growing extremely quickly it's almost covered all of south america which makes it extremely vulnerable to space weather and stretches from the tip of Africa all the way across the Atlantic now. Again, uh, they're having real problems here in Brazil because of this. Very susceptible to even the lightest space weather. South Atlantic anomaly being tracked by just about everyone from what I can tell. All right, this is a scientific visualization by NASA. You see 2015, 16, 17 into 25, how quickly it's growing. They also indicate that it's heating up our core or our mantle, which is real global warming, right? Crazy stuff. Growing as fast as the South Atlantic anomaly is growing over the last five years, it's going to be a miracle if most of North America is without an atmosphere at all in another five years. And it might even speed up. With that said, things are pretty slow on our star currently. We have a total of five sunspots. 4337 is about to go around the far limb. And I see one beta gamma sunspot, one of the more active ones, 4336. The rest of them are simple. We have a very small chance of any significant solar activity. Please give us a thumbs up, guys. Please share. I will let y'all know if anything changes, but I think we're coming out of the geomagnetic storm currently. 
Remember, though, anything's possible in the bizarro world. Please share. God bless.